Now, Greece has been hit by its fourth general strike this year as its government prepares to axe thousands of public sector jobs. Those cuts are part of a relentless austerity drive to cap the country's debts and keep it in the euro. The economic and social convulsions thrown up by the eurozone crisis have dominated politics, not just on the continent, but here as well. Tonight, we speak live with the Prime Minister of Italy, Enrico Letta, as he calls on Britain to help reform the European Union. Let's go over now to our economics editor, Faisal Islam, at Chatham House in central London. Faisal. It was in Italy in 1957 that the Treaty of Rome essentially founded the modern European Union. And it was over the past three or four years that in the Eurozone crisis that some felt that, the, that Europe, Europe floundered in Italy. A stagnant economy, rising unemployment and rising debt is Italy the key to solving the Eurozone crisis? La Dolce Vita has lost a bit of its dolce recently. Italy's economy is shrinking and its debts are rising. And as a result, social and even racial tensions are rising to the surface here as in many other European countries. Protests continue against austerity programmes imposed in Greece, Italy and across Europe. Anger that helped bring Senor Letta to power in the spring, though still at the head of a coalition. Italy faces a trio of economic problems. It's been in recession for seven quarters in a row, the worst performance on record. Unemployment is now more than 12% of the workforce, another record. And the country's debts equal 130% of national income and rising. But despite all this, the interest rate Italy pays to borrow has come down over the last year, from 6% to 4.5%. The reason for that lies with another Italian, Mario Draghi, the head of the European Central Bank. His promise to support Euro member states by buying up their debt has helped to quell the Euro crisis in recent months. Two years ago, the same ECB undermined one of Letta's predecessors, Silvio Berlusconi, with a strongly worded letter urging austerity and economic reform. With tensions rising, this newer politician has been at the eye of the storm. Cecile Cayenge, the first black minister in an Italian government ever, has been the target of racial abuse. A senior senator in the Northern League political party compared her to an orangutan, provoking condemnation, but also reflecting a strain in Italian society that's deeply hostile to immigration. An echo, perhaps, of extremist movements like Golden Dawn in crisis-ridden Greece. In Italy, it's the social and economic strains of this crisis that are intensifying, leaving quite some balancing act for the new prime minister. 